Welcome to Sumo Family Day. My name is Elisa Peterson, and today I'll teach you a little bit about painting landscapes. Vasily Kandinsky was a Russian painter born in 1866. Kandinsky created many kinds of artwork, including brightly colored and stylized landscape paintings. When something is stylized, it means you can recognize what it is, but it doesn't look realistic. The artist has decided to make changes. In these landscape paintings, we can tell what Kandinsky is drawing, but he decided to use bold, strong lines and lots of bright colors. Another artist who loved to create landscapes is Jimmy Jones. He lived right here in Southern Utah and created amazing landscape paintings of this beautiful area. You can see many of Jimmy Jones' landscape paintings on display inside the Southern Utah Museum of Art. Unlike the stylized landscape paintings by Kandinsky, Jimmy Jones' paintings are incredibly realistic. When you stand in front of one, it looks like you're actually looking through the window into the distance. The Southern Utah Museum of Art exists in large part because of Jimmy Jones. He wanted people just like you to be able to see art in a beautiful museum. For this project, we're going to combine the stylized look of the Kandinsky landscape paintings with the beautiful Southern Utah views that we find in Jimmy Jones' artwork. Take a moment to find a landscape that you would like to paint today. Maybe you can go to Suma and look at the artwork of Jimmy Jones, or maybe you can look him up online. Or maybe you have a photograph of your own that showcases the beauty of Southern Utah. We'll start with paper and crayons. Printer paper works, but if you have something heavier, it might work a little bit better. I'm cutting my paper to be a shape and size that I like. Now it's time to draw the landscape using a dark colored crayon. Remember that you're going to make a stylized image and not a realistic image. So think of simple shapes as you're drawing each element that you see in the picture. Keep drawing until you've included everything you want. You can think about what's in the foreground, the closest to the front of the picture, what's in the middle ground, and what's in the background farthest away. Since we're making a stylized landscape painting, it can be really fun to add an extra color to your drawing. I'm using blue, but you can pick anything bright. Just trace over your lines. It'll help your colors really pop. Now it's time to paint. I'm using homemade paints and I'll show you how to make them at the end of this video. You can use any paints that you have on hand or make your own as well. When you paint, you want to be really careful with your paintbrush. What I like about this project is I'm not really worrying about what the real paint colors are in the picture. I'm paying attention to the values. So I'm making dark areas dark, light areas light, and I'm choosing any colors I want along the way. I sped up the video so you can see what it looks like as I continue to paint this project. I kept thinking about light areas and dark areas, and I kept choosing any colors I wanted to and blending them as I worked. Remember that when you paint, you wanna be gentle with your paintbrush and rinse it out between colors. Here we are back at regular speed. I want to point out how gentle I'm being with my brush. I'm being careful on my paper. If I paint in one spot for too long, it could actually rip a hole in the paper. And notice what it looks like when I get paint onto my brush. I dip it in water, then I swirl it onto the paint color and gently rub it onto the paper. Also notice how I'm holding my paintbrush. It's similar to how you hold a pencil. And here is my finished painting. This painting is inspired by the work of Jimmy Jones, but it's stylized, so I simplified my lines and I chose the colors that I wanted. Would you like to learn how to make the paints that I used in this video? I'll show you how. To make your own paint, you will need white vinegar, baking soda, cornstarch, food coloring, measuring spoons and cups, a whisk, toothpicks, a mixing bowl, a palette, or you can use an ice cube tray. Start by combining one half a cup of baking soda with one quarter of a cup of white vinegar in a mixing bowl.
When these ingredients combine, they will bubble up. Stir until the bubbling subsides. Now add one teaspoon of sugar and stir. Next add a quarter cup of cornstarch. Stir your mixture until it's completely combined. You will notice that it behaves strangely. If you want to learn more about this phenomenon, look up non-Newtonian fluid. Now measure the paint into your palette. I'm using one teaspoon of paint per color. Remember, if you don't have a palette, you can use an ice cube tray or even a muffin tin. Now comes the fun part. You get to add color. Use food coloring and add two, three, or four drops of color per teaspoon. In mine, I mixed red, yellow, and blue to create oranges, greens, and purples. Finally, use toothpicks to stir each color and then let your paints dry overnight before you use them. I hope you enjoyed our project today. We would love to see what you made. You can take a picture and share it with us. 